So would I be correct in saying that the wall between church and state was originally meant for the protection of religious denominations themselves? I understand there was quite a bit of discrimination based on religious faith back then. Mm -hmm. If so, it's an irony that religious groups today want to tear it down. <laughs> no, I mean, that that's yeah. absolutely right. That is one of the reasons it existed. And if you look historically, some of you know, for instance, Baptists and Catholics were huge supporters of state church separation when the United States was found. Um, they were some of the groups that were pushing for it the hardest. You know, one of the Catholic representatives um, to the, the House of Representatives, Daniel Carroll, uh, gave one of the greatest quotes in my mind about the, the freedom of conscience ever. He said that the rights of conscience, you know, our ability to think freely, will little tolerate the lightest touch of the governmental hand. Uh, and they absolutely were for separation of state and church. The question is, once they start getting political power, what happens? Mm. That that flips. And historically, that is that's is it, the case throughout. This is why Muslims are pro-secularism in, in the countries where they're not in power, but they're not pro-secularism when they are in power. Right? It's, a trend, it's a trend that you see everywhere right. geographically and everywhere throughout history. Right. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.